Letters from Iwo Jima is a 2006 Japanese language American war film directed and co produced by Clint Eastwood, starring Ken Watanabe and Kazunari Minamiya. The film portrays the Battle of Iwo Jima from the perspective of the Japanese soldiers and is a companion piece to Eastwood's Flags of Our Fathers, which depicts the same battle from the American viewpoint. The two films were shot back to back. Letters from Iwo Jima is almost entirely in Japanese, despite being co produced by American companies DreamWorks Pictures, Mel Paso Productions, and Amblin Entertainment. The film was released in Japan on December 9, 2006, and received a limited release in the United States on December 20, 2006, in order to be eligible for consideration for the 79th Academy Awards, for which it received four nominations, including Best Picture and winning Best Sound Editing. It was subsequently released in more areas of the U.S. on January 12, 2007, and was released in most states on January 19. An English dubbed version of the film premiered on April 7, 2008. Upon release, the film received critical acclaim and although it only grossed slightly better at the box office than its companion, it was much more successful compared to its budget. Reception In the United States Letters from Iwo Jima was critically acclaimed, and well noted for its portrayal of good and evil on both sides of the battle. The critics heavily praised the writing, direction, cinematography and acting. The review tallying website Rotten Tomatoes reported that 184 out of the 202 reviews they tallied were positive for a score of 91%, and an average rating of 8. 20 tenths, and a certification of fresh. The site's consensus states, a powerfully humanistic portrayal of the perils of war, this companion piece to Flags of Our Fathers is potent and thought-provoking, and it demonstrates Clint Eastwood's maturity as a director. Metacritic gave the movie a score of 89 based on 37 reviews, indicating universal acclaim. Lisa Schwartzbaum of Entertainment Weekly, Kenneth Turan of the Los Angeles Times, and Richard Schickel of Time were among many critics to name it the best picture of the year. In addition, Peter Travers of Rolling Stone and Michael Phillips of the Chicago Tribune both gave it four stars, and Todd McCarthy of Variety praised the film, assigning it a rare A rating. On December 6, 2006, the National Board of Review of Motion Pictures named Letters from Iwo Jima the best film of 2006. 1819, on December 10, 2006, the Los Angeles Film Critics Association named Letters from Iwo Jima best picture of 2006. Furthermore, Clint Eastwood was runner-up for directing honors. 20, in addition, the American Film Institute named it one of the 10 best films of 2006. It was also named Best Film in a Foreign Language on January 15 during the Golden Globe Awards, while Clint Eastwood held a nomination for Best Director. CNN's Tom Charity in his review described Letters from Iwo Jima as the only American movie of the year I won't hesitate to call a masterpiece. On the Best Films of the Year 2006 broadcast, December 31, 2006, of the television show Ebert and Roper, Richard Roper listed the film at number 3 and guest critic A.O. Scott listed it at number 1, claiming that the film was close to perfect. James Berardinelli awarded a 3 out of 4 star review, concluding that although both letters and flags were imperfect but interesting, letters from Iwo Jima was more focused, strong and straightforward than its companion piece. On January 23, 2007, the film received four Academy Award nominations. Eastwood was nominated for his directing, as well as Best Picture along with producers Steven Spielberg and Robert Lawrence. It was also nominated for Best Original Screenplay. The film took home one award, Best Sound Editing. The film appeared on many critics' top 10 lists of the best films of 2006, including 157 top 10 lists in North America with 25 number one spots. In Japan The film was far more commercially successful in Japan than in the U.S., ranking number one for five weeks, and receiving a warm reception from both Japanese audiences and critics. The Japanese critics noted that Clint Eastwood presented Kuribayashi as a caring, erudite commander of Japan's Iwo Jima garrison, along with Japanese soldiers in general, in a sensitive, respectful way. 25. Also, the Japanese newspaper Asahi Shimbun noted that the movie is clearly distinguishable from previous Hollywood movies, which tended to portray Japanese characters with non-Japanese actors, for example, Chinese Americans, and other Asian Americans. Consequently, incorrect Japanese grammar and non-native accents were conspicuous in those former films, jarring their realism for the Japanese audience. In contrast, 
Most Japanese roles in letters from Iwo Jima are played by native Japanese actors. Also, the article praised the film's new approach, as it is scripted with excellent research into Japanese society at that time. According to the article, previous Hollywood movies describing Japan were based on the stereotypical images of Japanese society, which looked weird to native Japanese audiences. Letters from Iwo Jima is remarkable as the movie that tries to escape from the stereotypes. Owing to the lack of stereotypes, Letters from Iwo Jima was appreciated by Japanese critics and audiences. Since the film was successful in Japan, a tourist boom has been reported on the Ogasawara Islands, of which Iwo Jima is part. Nicholas Barber's review in the UK's The Independent on Sunday, argued that the movie was a traditional film wearing the uniform of a revisionist one which proved Hollywood could be as mawkish about other countries' soldiers as it can about its own, and that the Japanese characters were capable of being decent, caring fellows, just so long as they've spent some time in the United States. Despite favorable reviews, the film only grossed $13.7 million domestically in the United States. Foreign sales of $54.9 million helped to boost revenue over production costs of $19 million.